I'm Tom Kiskin with the Ventura County Star. Today I'm at the Ventura County Science Fair with 900 middle and high school students from 60 different schools. Um, today we will ask the students what's the weirdest thing they've seen today, what's the coolest thing they've seen today. What's the weirdest thing we've seen? Um, no, it would probably be, have to be the ones right here. It's about different animals they've kissed and how which one has the more bacterial and like which one you kissed had the most bacteria. And like there was one with horses and dogs and cats. And it turned out that the cats were actually the most, like least bacteria in their mouth. So those ones would be the best ones to kiss, which I found was really weird. What's the coolest thing you've seen? Um, we saw one about, it was about like rockets, it was finding a good ratio for the fuel or something like that to see how high it could go. That was cool. Or what's the strangest thing you've seen? Probably mine. It was testing um, how CSI agents determine the amount of decay on um, human bodies using chickens. <laughs> mine has kind of been like the joke, but also it's kind of, it's interesting. There's there have been some weird ones, like there was this one about like levitating. I saw today there's like some kid thought he could really levitate. I know there's last year. about a hoverboard. Yeah, a hoverboard. Someone thought that they could uh, make a hoverboard. Uh, I know last year there was a kid who thought he could bend spoons with his mind. That was crazy. The most compelling thing is just the amount of dedication that some of these people put into their projects that you know that. You know, they've worked very hard, and it's, it's obvious to see which of the people did it for extra credit and which of the people did it because they truly love research. Um, there's a really cool experiment over on the other side of the building. Somebody did an experiment about earthquakes and the different structures that people would need to build in order for a building to survive an earthquake, and they made a really cool simulation, and they built, I think it was popsicle stick structures on top of a two-by-four that they had a power drill connected to so that it could simulate the shaking. Wow. It was neat. Yeah. The weirdest one I saw was um, seeing if you could use raw eggs and like try to make them float. I don't know, like, like based on salinity of the water, which I kind of thought was interesting. Can you make raw eggs float? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> wow. Well, there was an excellent experiment down here where there was a, a middle schooler who created their own instruments to measure light through different food dyes and liquids, which is amazing. Um, because we use that instrument at my company and it is a, a pretty expensive piece of equipment and they're able to just create it with just what they had around and with their cell phones. So it was extremely impressive what they were able to do. Um, and there's also some down here that are really cool, like um, th this one about the rusting of the nails, about which liquid rust them better over time and about this one right here where eggs float in different levels of salinity in the water of the cup like how much they float so these kids are really taking one idea and they really have good experiments that focus on just the one variable and then they test their hypothesis and they're able to come to a pretty good conclusion so the kids came here to impress judges and they ended up impressing everybody including me um, there's projects about curing cancer, there's projects about heavy metal music, and everything in between. And I, we just spoke to a, a, a judge, a scientist from Baxter, who said he was blown away. I was too.